Hello, this is Kiss Blue, and welcome back to more Let's Play Final Fantasy VII! Last time we learned just why Mako Energy is basically ki gonna kill everyone. Also, there's like a bed up here, I guess. Yeah. Um, oh! There's- we can go further up! Cool. Is there anything up here? No, there is not. Well, okay then. Um, so yeah, that's what we did last time. This time, well, this time basically we're going to dig around some more in Cosmo Canyon, because we can't go anywhere because our buggy is still super broken. Now then, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's go down, please. There we go. Probably we should go to the gate. My expectation is that... Well, we probably need to talk to someone to get the damn buggy fixed, actually. It is still pretty broken, so... I don't need to save yet. Hello, good sir! Oh, okay, everyone is here. Works for me. Cosmo Canyon. This is where Avalanche was born. I promised my guys someday. When we save the planet from Shinra, then we'd all go to Cosmo Canyon and celebrate. Yep, they're all dead. Everyone's dead, Barrett. Everyone's dead. Okay, that's an interesting take on things. Okay then. Hey, Yuffie. What a boring... Oh, you freaking... You're the worst, Yuffie. Actually, no, you aren't. I, wa I would like to call you the worst, but you're... I can't in good conscience say that when you're sitting right beside the person who is actually the worst. I hate you. Uh, apparently the cat's been to Cosmo Canyon before. whoop de freaking do Everyone hates you. Hey, Tifa. Oh. They can. Sitting around, quiet contemplation. What about five years ago? Hmm. You really, really are you, right? What a interesting thing to ask. Hmm. Oh yeah, they're basically- I'm pretty sure Aerith is literally the last ancient, so... At least the last living one. There is actually a difference. So... Long ago, when I was still very small, we were all around this flame. No, never mind. What about them? That's a little sad. Hmm. Okay, yeah. We're bringing Yuffie. I would actually sort of rather bring Tifa, but... I really need that damn limit break on her. Yuffie, that is. So, she's getting dragged along, whether I'd like it or not. 
Uh, you can have this, and I... Okay, I was right. I did not have a double growth weep on for red. You can have that, and you can have that. And I guess you can have the silver armlet. I mean, it's only temporary. Let's see. I want to rearrange my equipment, though. You know, I'll do that off screen. We'll go chase down the old man first. Oh, now is a good time to save. Cannot use my cell phone, that's interesting. Okay, I believe the thing is... Well, it's sure as hell not in here. Wait, are you still looking for a thing? Oh. That's interesting. Can I read this book? Evidently not. Well, it was worth a shot. Oh, there's the old man! Get him! Yeah. Yes, we are. Let us go. Oh, hey, hey, it's a Bouton! And the door has op opened. <laughs> he is just the best guy. But anyway, it is actually dangerous in here, so... I should, well, you know, I should be safe until I get to the bottom, I think. I mean, worst case scenario, I'll just do a fight, I'll just have one fight without being fully equipped. It's not really ideal, but I'll probably be fine. Okay. I want to know, how the hell did Red get down here? Ladders are one thing, but there is no way he can climb down a rope like this. Okay, okay, here we are. Also, I did my equipment off screen. So, that thing is right there. I won. A lot. Also, we're fighting things. Um, yeah. Oh, poison. That's... That's great. I should probably give someone, like, you know, anti-poison? Make it so that they cannot be poisoned. As I get the impression there's gonna be a lot of poison. Just call it a hunch. Hmm. Right, just do the... I don't really want to use that much MP. And I've given... okay. I'll be honest, my summon distribution could... could be better. Um... Oh hey! I forgot that was an enemy skill. So, uh, that's something, I guess. Did Cloud get that as well? He got hit with Death Sentence, so I would have to assume so. Um, death Sentence, right there. Yep. Okay, so... Break it. So, one of these will open the way, and the rest will be... Boss Fights against Gee Spectors. Use the power of Matra Magic, and then hit them. Oh, you also have Death Sentence. Okay, that's good to know. Yep, just use that on Yuffie. Okay. Actually, something I haven't mentioned yet, but it's fairly important. This is a one-time only area. 
Make sure you pick up everything in here the first time you're in here, because you can't come back once you leave. Uh, I don't think- now, having said that, I don't think there are any enemy skills in here that you cannot get elsewhere. But, there's definitely items in here that you really want to get. So, something to keep in mind. Everyone is dead. Actually, does Red even have- yeah, no, he does. I remember- I distinctly remember arguing- well, I mean, argue is definitely the wrong word. Still, deba debating, I guess you could say? Thinking about- look, I remember talking about his second limit break and Frank and being totally wrong about what it does. So, yeah. Hmm, I should have probably used Restore instead of White Wind, that would have been... that would have been more economical. Hmm... Or I suppose I could have just used Magic Magic. I mean, that would have not really healed me, but... But it would have probably killed them. Okay. Just watch, this is gonna be when she gets her... Right now, that's gonna be the last one she needed before she got her second limit break. So I could have totally swapped her out, but, well, whatever. I'm just sort of a little bit tired of using Yuffie. She's been here too long relative to my other party members. I really want to swap her out for someone else. And wouldn't you freaking know it? Well, I'm stuck with her now. I can't. I can't grab someone else as long as I'm in here. Break it. Okay, that one opened the door. Now we're gonna do the rest too. Although I don't think the. I think literally all of them except for one are just battles. Do Matter Magic, and then do Matter Magic again, because that'll end the fight relatively quickly. Also, maybe I should have cut this battle? Well, I mean, obviously I haven't, so it's a little late to say that, but... Whatever. I'm... I don't know. Honestly, I'm sort of just tunnel visioning on that getting that one materia that we saw, because that is a fairly rare materia, and a very useful one. And I kind of want it really badly. I wonder if I can steal from these guys. Also, like I said, if I don't get it now, then I won't be able to get it. They have nothing, which I guess makes sense, seeing as they are ghosts and all. I wouldn't necessarily expect a ghost to be carrying around loot, so... Oh yeah, I have a phoenix down. Steal it from me so you can use it on me, and then kill me instantly. Make me re-dead. No, that's something very different. From a different, completely different game. Is this like a lever? No, it's just part of the background, I suppose. Maybe it's a- Oh no! It's a guy with a spear in it, because the gi- I just remembered this. The gi used, uh, weapons that caused petrification. And like the scary permanent kind of petrification. Mm-hmm. The vengeful spirits of the Gi didn't disappear, and couldn't return to the life stream. You see, things like this are what made me think that the life stream is to some extent renewable, because if there are cases like this where the spirits will not return to the life stream, then it would eventually run out just by accumulating dead spirits, basically. And it seems it seems like that is not the case. Like, that doesn't really make sense to me. I mean, maybe it does happen over a long enough time, the planet just dies because all the 
because everyone died then stayed dead. But... But somehow it seems more plausible to me that it can slowly renew itself over time. Through some mechanism, rather. Okay, so... I need to take a hard left here. Uh, ooh. Walk on this, otherwise you will slide. I'm pretty sure that's what that does. Like, 90%. Add effect. We are gonna throw this straight on you, because MP plus is lame, although useful. And basically, this works the same as the element one, but for stage effects. So now I have... D now I have a chance to inflict poison with Red's physical attacks. And if I had this on his armor, he, he would be either immune or resistant to poison. I think immune. Okay, so let's test the slide theory. Oh yeah, you totally slide on that. Um, don't slide into the wall because I'm pretty sure you will take damage. Cool. Let's do this again. Just get it over with quickly, I guess. You know, the Gi Spectres are clearly humans, but it occurs to me, these things are... Well, it's a sneaky step. It's, it's just a monster. It probably has nothing to do with the Gi. But if it does have, but if it does have something to do with the key, then it's probably a the spirit of something that was quite similar to red. Hmm, that's food for thought. Now slowly walk across the oil and then run. Now, right, I forgot how big this area is. Like just this one area. I mean, the room we're in is like. 50% of the freaking dungeon. Oh hey, let's do this. Because it gives me haste and... What was the other thing? Like, some weird thing to increase my defense or something? I don't, I don't remember. It does something. Ha ha, poison! Okay, uh, the exit's over there, but the st but the good stuff is down here, I think. I don't remember what's actually in these boxes. I remembered about the add effect thing, because that's actually a big deal. Um, I, who knows there, there, though. There might be a good piece of equipment in one of these boxes I legitimately don't remember. Um, actually, now that I've brought that up though. I mean, not the box thing, but the related red thing. That is quite interesting. We don't really know what the Gi tribe was. We just know that they're all, that they're all dead now. That, and that they attack Cosmo Canyon. Uh, and that they use petrifying arrows. We know those three things, and that's it. Now, some of the members of the Gi tribe were definitely humanoid, but for all we know, they were all, all, they also included a race very similar to red. And, I mean, Red's family protects Cosmo Canyon, but his tribe does, but that doesn't mean that all, that doesn't mean all of his kind did it, you know? It'd be like seeing an English, no, actually that's a bad example. <laughs> Use the power of Matra Magic! And also, you know Cloud can do it. Cloud is what is way ahead of everyone else for limit breaks. He does not need the extra kills. Uh, do that. And match or magic. Also, before I forget, I need to I need to actually check what Yuffie's limit break does because I don't remember. I think it might be a healing limit break, but I need to actually look at the stupid thing.
Ah, whatever. Contrary to what I just said, I don't care enough to wait around. At least not yet. When Cloud is on, like, his... What, sixth limit break? I mean, really fifth, because at that point, he won't need the kills anymore. Then I probably will be actually deliberately avoiding killing things with him. At least for a while. Uh, right. So, what does that limit break actually do, Yuffie? It, yeah. It is identical to Aerith's first limit break. It recovers half of the HP of all party members. Actually... I just look at the time, and... Oh, I guess we're watching this first. As you can see, this cave leads to the back of Cosmo Canyon. I mean, that's where we came in, so... Even though even though the Gi outnumbered us, they could not attack through here because the passage was too narrow. Let's move on. NEXT TIME on Final Fantasy VII! Because we're, we're over time. Uh, until then... Have a great day. Oh, I feel sort of bad for Red. This is not going to end well for him. Bye.